I knew AD since the last time I saw you. Yeah. Um, I'd heard rumors ahead of time, but it's official and we're excited about having him. Uh, uh, he actually had no, or hired uh, one of my uh, close friends in Butch Jones, when Butch was with me at West Virginia, and he hired him at Central and did, Butch did a great job there. But uh, very well respected, and we're uh, happy that he's going to be a Wildcat. He seems to be a guy who's gotten facilities built or has raised funds to do so. I assume that you have a great interest in, you know, getting I, I some do. I have a list. done around here. I have a list <laughs> of stuff. Uh, I always kind of keep it handy. I had it for Greg every time I saw Greg, and I'll have it for Dave as well. And then there's certainly you got to be fiscally responsible. Um, but there's a few things we, we probably we need, and then there's a few things we want. But we got to get address the needs hopefully as soon as possible. Sean was saying today that you got a chance to meet him briefly. Did you get a chance to meet with him at all? I did. We, we got a chance, I got a chance, uh, very fortunate, to, to spend some time, um, you know, a few days last week with him. and. Uh, he he and his wife and it was uh, we had a good meeting. I think everybody's um, really excited about him coming here. Does the arrival of a new athletic director affect your day-to-day -day operations in any major way? No. New uh, new wide receiver coach as well. Yeah, Theron H. Uh, I think he he kind of stood out early in the process um, with some of the staff that were kind of helping me vet the vet vet the candidates and brought him in for an interview. And not only do I think he can help our wide receivers, but I think he can help us in recruiting, particularly in the Houston area, but also with some of the ideas that he can help uh, bring to Coach McGee and the offensive staff scheme-wise. Do you see a more, more of an emphasis on recruiting in Texas to, to hire fans? Yeah, we, we are. That is true. We, I think uh, the coaches in the past here have done a really good job of bringing some Texas guys in here, and we kind of branched away from it because I thought Texas was – Kids were more interested in Big 12, Pac 12, or SEC, and than than us. But I do think there are so many pl good players in the state of Texas, and so many good programs, and so many great high school coaches that we have to get into that state a little bit. And I've recruited it, uh, some before, but we're going to get into, it, particularly in the Houston area, a lot more, and and not just with Coach H, but uh, some of the other guys on my staff as well. How do you go about assimilating him into the staff and the team when you're already in the middle of spring practice? Oh, it's not hard. I'm still taking some of the wilds myself, but you know, he's he's a quick learner, and you know we're kind of doing business as usual. It, it doesn't, you know, the system's not that difficult. He he'll, he'll learn it pretty quick. So he has a background as an offensive coordinator, and Coach Boone has a background as a defensive coordinator. Do you like having guys on the staff who have that? Level I, of experience. I, I do think it's a bonus. I think they can help both both coordinators with some ideas. Uh, you know, if you've called plays before, which you know, Coach McGee and Coach Smith and Coach Yates have, uh, now Coach Boone and Coach H, uh, it helps, particularly when you're putting together a game plan or putting together an offense or defense. And uh, I stick my nose, my nose in a little bit of everything, but I do think it can get some valuable experience that way. Um, you've talked about how Zach Benjamin can be a can contributor for you for you this year. What do you make of the fact that he was ineligible to play last year, yet someone like Blake Barnett is eligible to play this year for ASU after actually playing in some games for Alabama last year? Yeah, and he's not a graduate transfer, was he? No. Yeah, hey, I, I don't know. It's, it's, that's a fair question. I, you know, I thought, particularly as a walk-on, uh, he should have been eligible last year. I, I think the walk-ons, I think there's a lot of, there's a, not a lot, but there's several rules that the NSA needs to look at, particularly regarding walk-ons and, and their immediate eligibility and when you can put them on scholarship. And I think he should have been eligible. I think it's silly that he wasn't, but I don't understand all the dynamics of, of uh, the kid at ASU, but I understand our guy and he should have been eligible, particularly as a walk-on. With, with a guy like Sammy Morrison, who had to sit out last year because of injuries, how does that year benefit him maybe in the long run? Well, more than anything, I just was telling, he just, there was a big collision between him and Nick today, Nick Wilson, and pretty good football play. Uh, uh, and I told Sam, I think in, in his younger days, he would probably have been seeing the trainers right now, but now he's up to a whopping 178 pounds. <laughs> in, the year, in the year being injured, he, he did a good job of getting stronger and bigger in the weight room, and that's what he needed to do. And, and uh, he'll he'll play a big he can stay healthy, which I think he will. Uh, he'll play a big role for us. You mentioned getting bigger, fired last practice. Is 
there a change in the weight program at all? Is it just a matter of getting it? No, I think it's, you know, our guys have been doing this a long time with a lot of success. I just, and our guys have done a good job in the weight room, but I think we just, you know, they can't, you know, being com compliant and committed, it's different. You know, being compliant, doing what you're supposed to do and all, that's all well and good. But if you truly want to be a really good player and, you know, and grow as a player, you need to be committed and go in the weight room, not just when we have you in there, but do a little extra. And we've had a handful of guys always do that, but we need more of them, and I think I'm seeing that now. Okay, thanks guys.